Hi, my name is Lisa Hempel. I'm from the Comprehensive Cancer Center of the University Hospital of um, Zurich. And together with a group of Andreas Wicki, we conducted a retrospective analysis um, to evaluate the clinical impact of SDK11 key born co-alterations and lung adenocarcinoma. So we enrolled 104 patients in this trial to evaluate the real-world progression-free survival and the medium overall survival. And we were able to identify a new subgroup of patients, those um, presenting with the KEEP1 alterations and also loss of hydrosagosity that showed a real-world progression-free survival of only 3.5 months and a median overall survival of 14 months, which emphasizes a primary resistance mechanism to current standard of therapy treatment options. So to conclude, SDK11, KEEP1, and KRAS co-alterations in lung adenocarcinoma define a subgroup of patients with hard-to-treat alterations. Also, those with KEEP1 alterations and loss of hydrosagosity. Our data also highlight that upfront molecular testing should include SDK11, KEEP1 alterations, also loss of hydrosagosity to identify those at need patients. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.